What's up my ponyos? Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests, we're going to be reviewing, unboxing, installing, and showing you how to connect to your Eufy Smart app. The brand new, newly released, or it's not technically released, it's actually kickstarted uh, the video door lock by Eufy. Now, this is not a sponsored video, however, Eufy did reach out to me and they provided me complimentary this review unit, so just know where my bias is. Down below in the links in the description are going to be the campaign there for you. You guys can check it out and consider supporting because this is an awesome product. It's melding two worlds together, which I think is super important and something you guys should consider. Some of the features of the Video Smart Lock with remote unlocking and 2K view is the 2K pinpoint of the tiniest detail. You can see who comes and goes, easy to install, integrates with the video doorbell if you want. It's IP65 rating. You can unlock anywhere with Wi-Fi. It's got a fingerprint reader and it's got military grade lock if you want to do that. What's cool is this also acts as a doorbell here. So you've basically got a three in one. You got your video, you've got your doorbell and you've got your keypad lock, all fingerprint sensor all in one. The fingerprint sensor is so much faster now. It's, it's new and improved up to 0.3 seconds of recognition. Alrighty, you know that this is a review unit when it doesn't come with the instructions. It may not be printed yet here, but it's very, very similar to the uh, smart deadlock here that the, that I've already reviewed. You can see here, here is uh, the backside that fits on your door with the electronic lock here. Here's the deadlock front. Fingerprint here is, is down here, doorbell, as well as uh, your number pad and your camera. Looks like on the bottom side here, it powers by USB. This is how you sync it most likely with uh, the device here, the ringer. You got your deadbolts. You've got your military grade strike plate installation. And then you got your keys. Uh, where is the key? Ah, you uh, peel it off here and there's your, your key. I like how they uh, they change it to a regular key. That's nice. The keys from the other one were kind of circular and they're a little oblong, odd, oddly shaped. The back plate here kind of just slides from the top. That's how you pull it off and it clips back on. Um, you can take out the unit and charge it via USB type C. It doesn't come with the cord, which is unfortunate, but uh, it also has a USB type C charger here on uh, the deadlock here on the bottom side, which is nice. Fingerprint reader here is on the top, and uh, that's about it. Let's go ahead and uh, install it here at the door. We're here on location. I've got the, the Eufy smart lock that we need to take off. We're gonna go ahead and uh, time lapse me taking this apart. Okay, we're all prepped and ready. We took off the deadlock here. So uh, a couple of prerequisites here that aren't necessarily in the instructions, but I wanted to go over is the cross board here. You need to make sure that you measure from the distance of where the deadlock goes to the cross bore, uh, and also the uh, circumference or the diameter here of the cross bore hole. That'll allow you to know uh, the right size here for your deadlock, as well as the uh, strike plate here. You need to make sure that you've got the right uh, length and uh, depth. Uh, if not, you're gonna have to chisel it out here and you can see a video on how to do that separately. Also, the plate here, um, I'm deciding not to put it military grade. If you want to, you're gonna have to measure and chisel out the military grade plate there if that's what you wanna do. Hey, the first step here is uh, getting the deadlock. So I've got the right measurement here as far as the plate here goes for the deadlock. The cross bore here is the right dimension. You can actually twist it if you want to get it smaller. For me, it's like two and three fourths. And so this is actually not long enough. What you can do is you can actually turn it to get uh, an extra length, the proper length that you're supposed to. Make sure you've got the top up top and uh, that's gonna allow you to be able to fit it nicely into your door frame, push it all the way in. It'll take a little bit of finagling. That'll push straight up against the door itself and give you the proper uh, connection that you need. Once you've done that, then we're gonna go in and screw it in. All right. 
Okay, next step is getting the uh, face plate, the front plate with the camera and the doorbell and the back plate here uh, connected together with the dead, dead bolts here. Now, uh, the cross board, uh, you're gonna need to measure the diameter of it and determine if it fits. It actually comes with this extender that you can pull out. Mine's a little bit smaller here, so we're not gonna need that extender and I'm going to uh, replace it here by putting it in. You need to put the electronics underneath the deadbolt. Fit it like so. Once you've gotten that connected here, you're gonna need to uh, put the, the actuator turning plate the right direction, facing horizontally, and uh, you're gonna Lego it in, then it's gonna push up flush here with the door. Now you're gonna get the back plate and you're gonna feed the electronics through the hole. You're gonna feed, I don't know what this is called, the instructions didn't have a name, there is no instructions. And what you're gonna do, is, then you're gonna align here the dead bolts and you're gonna screw those in. Before you go all the way in, kind of eyeball it here and you're gonna to wanna to center it. Make sure that the deadlock deadbolt is square here. Go until it's top. Okay, uh, you've got here two supporting uh, screws that you're gonna be placing in and then a third one here once the back plate uh, is connected. You do have another anchor point if you want. If your a door has an anchor point, you can go ahead and put the anchor point right here. Nextly here, we're gonna install the back plate now. You're gonna be taking off the, uh, the, the plate here for the battery charger and you're gonna have two supporting screws that connect the back plate in here as well as the uh, electronics here on the back that you're gonna nestle and fit all together. Okay, you've got two things to plug into. You've got the main unit here that's gonna uh, fit right into there. So it's, you're gonna match up uh, the, the pins and you're just gonna slide it through until you feel a, a light click. There are guardrails, so make sure you line it up with the guardrails, the correct di direction. There it goes, snaps right into place. Then you've got the last connector. There it goes, all of them are connected. Now, uh, this is gonna be kind of tricky. You have to coil it around the pin here and then place it in and let it slowly coil itself in there. Let the door shut if you want. And then there you have it. Place the bottom one in first. Screw till it's tight. Okay, it comes with a little rubber plunger thing. You're gonna just place it in there. And then uh, nextly, we're gonna get the battery and we're gonna place the battery in. Get the back plate, get the battery, place the battery in, it just kinda slides right in. You'll probably hear it. Put the face plate on, that's the installation. Welcome to UV Security. Please download the UV Security app to complete setup. Please download the UV security. Okay, nextly here is, uh, you've got this Wi-Fi uh, doorbell that acts as basically your bridge. Uh, it's really cool. You can have quite a bit of storage in here up to uh, 200, up to 128 gigs. I'm gonna put a 32 gigabyte here, which is gonna be bigger than my home station, which has 16. Nonetheless, this is what's gonna connect all of your uh, files and videos and whatnot from the video doorbell to the app here. Okay, it comes with a plug. You're gonna put it in here and turn it, plug it in, act as your chime, as well as uh, the bridge, like I said. All right, before we even get started, uh, we're gonna go ahead and set up uh, the Wi-Fi bridge first. It's the Wi-Fi doorbell chime. We're gonna add the home. Once you've installed that and plugged in the plug, we're gonna go ahead now and add a new device. We're gonna add the Wi-Fi bridge, hit next, add to your home, do the, uh, the QR code. It's recommended to install it between the router and whatnot. Plug it in. Wait till it starts to signal. We're connected to the Wi-Fi, hit sync. Ready for setup. 
Welcome to Eufy Security. Follow the instructions in Eufy Security app to set up the system. Testing Wi-Fi connection. Okay, we're connecting to the Wi-Fi. Connected to Wi-Fi successfully. Great, connected to Wi-Fi. Now it's showing blue. Now that we've got it all set up and we've got the Wi-Fi bridge, I'm gonna go ahead now and connect this to the bridge through the app. Uh, from the app, you go to My Devices, Scroll all the way down till you find uh, the video doorbell. Uh, nope, video smart lock. There's a video smart lock. Add it to my home. Um, I can select which one I want to connect it to. So we'll do the bridge. Uh, I've already finished the installation. Now I need to do is hit sync. I need to put the battery in here. Put the supplied battery. Press it in, you'll hear the ding. Hit sync. It's going to generate a QR code. Ready to add device. There we go. Connecting to the Wi-Fi network. Please wait. Now it's connecting to the bridge. Device was added successfully. Great. Now it's successfully added. Ran this be the front door. I close the door. It's going to calibrate now. While it's calibrating, I'll put the cap back on. Okay, calibrated. Now I'm missing my passcode. Alrighty, once we set that up, now we're ready to set up the uh, uh, the fingerprint reader. I'm gonna go and start enrollment. I usually use my right hand because I have stuff in my left. Start fingerprint setup. You just press it eight times. It's very reactive. Okay, now it's set up. We got the uh, fingerprint all set up. Let's go ahead and hit done. And I'll show you now that we can unlock it and lock it. Boom. And boom. Locked. Do my pin. Okay, now it's unlocked. Okay, now that it's showing that we're unlocked, let's show you what the video looks like. 2K is pretty awesome. Man, you get super wide depth of field. It looks like it's four by three aspect man, uh, ratio. You can go full you screen. Can go full screen. From here you can uh, push here, to you talk. Can, uh, hey guys, push what's talk. up? Hey guys, what's up? Hey guys, what's up? Hey guys, what's up? Oof. You can unlock the door by pressing and holding it. You can let it go like that. Let's do the uh, the chime now. We're gonna use the Eufy doorbell chime. Yes. <laughs> Hold on. This one, Dad. You want that one? Okay. Okay, we're gonna push the doorbell. There we go. Now it goes. Now it's connected. You can see here on the app, we're also connected here as well. What's cool about the video being on the door is that you can have the door open and see who answers it. You can see into the, the front room as well. I think that's pretty cool. All right, my Pugios, well, that about does it here. There's your installation, how-to guide, connectivity guide uh, in order to set up the video smart lock by Eufy 2K camera. It's, it's a three-in-one. It's amazing. With that said, guys, go ahead and consider checking out the Kickstarter down below. Great rewards and discounts before it is released. Um, I think this is an awesome product here to add to your home security. Very secure. With that said, guys, uh, this was provided complimentary by Anchor, by uh, the folks at Eufy Security, but no money was exchanged, so you know that my review is honest and this is a really good product. And consider checking out the other Eufy Security playlist videos that I've done in the past. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.